What's up guys, Dan the Soul Man here again and today I've got a uh, kind of a little different video for you, or a different type of video. So if you guys uh, are on Instagram and you guys are into sneakers and you've probably seen the whole top three challenge thing going around, um, people get challenged to post a picture up of their top three uh, favorite shoes. And I guess it has eventually trickled down into the <clears throat> the smaller Vans community on Instagram. And uh, people have now been posting up their pictures of their top three favorite Vans. Um, so I already did that. Um, it took me a while to pick out my top three. Um, but I did. And my, my pal uh, OT Dub on YouTube, if you guys are watching this video, then you probably uh, have seen his videos or know of him. He uh, shot a video for his top three and he called me out. Uh, so I thought I'd respond uh, with a video of my own. <laughs> and uh, give you guys a little insight as to why my top three is my top three. So, uh, we're going to start off with uh, this pair here, which is... Which was actually the only pair that I knew for sure was going to be in my top three before I even started thinking about it. Um, and it's quite possibly my favorite pair of shoes that I own, period. Um, and these are a pair of slip-ons from the Vans Volt line. And they are a collaboration with uh, designer Mark Jacobs. Back in... Um, Maybe like 06, 07, uh, Vans Volt, uh, pretty, pretty much in its infancy. It was like, it started in 2004, so it was a couple years into it. Um, they collaborated with Marc Jacobs, um, and they did a bunch of cool looking slip ons. Uh, they did some skate highs, some old schools, I think a couple chuckas. Um, and they're all pretty cool. I think the majority of the collaboration though were slip ons. And back then, uh, I was only into collecting slip-ons, so it was kind of like a like a cool, you know, collaboration for me because I, I really enjoyed slip-ons and they had so many cool slip-ons um, that I was just really stoked about this collaboration. Um, and in fact, uh, the reason why this is, pro is probably my favorite pair of shoes that I own, uh, I guess there's two reasons. One is because it's just it's just overall a badass really cool looking shoe I mean as you can see you know you've got these crazy colors and that classic checkerboard print um, it really doesn't get any cooler than this I think as far as prints go um, and the second reason being that this was actually one of the very first shoes that got me into uh, collecting vans and kind of into that uh, collecting the limited and you know rarer pair of vans. Um, I remember when I first started collecting, uh, I would just buy shoes from the van store, and there was a pair of shoes that I liked that I wore out, and I really wanted a second pair. Um, so I and they weren't available at the van store anymore. So I started going looking online, um, trying to see if I could find a pair, and. Didn't really have much success with that, but I did find a picture of these guys, and I was just blown away again because of the colors and the prints. Um, so what I did is I started looking for these online, and in doing so, I came across a bunch of forums. You know, I came across you know all these listings on eBay. Um, I remember the old original off the wall site dot WordPress blog with Raf, um, things like that, and they just kind of they kind of just you know went all downhill from there and I started just looking at pictures of shoes that I liked and I started look going after different shoes and so on and so forth and now here I am with a massive collection of shoes that I love and think are really cool looking. <laughs> so that's kind of why this is my favorite, one of my favorite, or my favorite. Um, it kind of really introduced me to the world of uh, limited edition or specialty vans and it's just overall pretty cool looking so I'm gonna do like a mini review of these with each pair so you guys can get a closer look at the shoe so as you can see the shoe is all leather which seems to be a theme actually with my top three they're all leather shoes 
Um, <laughs> but this is an all leather slip on uh, with a printed, I guess the print is on the leather. Um, we've got this crazy print on the toe box here with some nice white leather binding going around here. Uh, we've got the white elastic piece here to hold the little tongue type thing here, there in place. Um, we've got black leather in the quarter here and of course the heel counter features some more of that uh, crazy print. We got some stains here. They're kind of old. Um, yeah, you know, I feel like some people didn't know how to attack this uh, challenge and they went ahead and just picked their top three most worn shoes. Uh, I'm just going to tell you off the bat that I did not do that. Um, <laughs> all three of these shoes are shoes that I wear very seldomly uh, because they are my favorites. Um, and I just went ahead and picked like the top the three shoes that I thought were the coolest in my collection that I really like the most. Um, I thought maybe like if I had to get rid of all my shoes except for three, which three would I keep? And that's kind of how I tackled this challenge. So I don't want to hear anyone complaining about the fact that my shoes look like they're brand new. Well, I just take care of them. Um, these have been worn maybe uh, a handful, maybe, maybe like two times. Um, I did buy them used, or I got them used though, so they had been worn before that. Um, and they didn't really show a lot of signs of wear, so I doubt the person that had them before me wore them a lot. Um, and actually, the way I got these is kind of an interesting story, but I won't bore you guys with that. I'm sure you're tired of me talking already. Um, <laughs> so yeah, so you've got that print, um, and it's kind of like halfway, maybe like uh, two-thirds and a third of this uh, test pattern. Uh, that's what the print is called. It's called the test pattern print. Um, and then the checkerboard. So if you kind of turn it over on this side here, it's like all test pattern. And if you look at it from the inside, it's just like a regular black and white checkered uh, slip on. So uh, let's see, the midsole here is white uh, with the black foxing stripe. You've got that straight cut toe bumper that uh, most volts feature. Uh, we've got this pretty brightly colored blue Mark Jacobs Vans heel tab. Kind of goes with the blue in the print. And then one of the coolest features, I think, of this shoe, um, this bright pink outsole. I really dig it. Definitely a nice pop of color. I think that uh, something like this would have been great on the uh, Huichol pack that just released. But, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, the inside of the shoe here features uh, Marc Jacobs Vans branding there on the heel. Uh, this was before they were doing removable insoles. So this is just a thicker insole um, that they would put on the vaults. It's got this cool print uh, with these falling off the wall branded skateboards and some uh, Marc Jacobs Vans branded ones in there as well. It's uh, lined with leather from the this half back um, and then the inside of the toe box is this like kind of perforated textile. It's kind of fuzzy. And of course I forgot that uh, we have this Mark Jacobs Vans, little Vans flag, nothing on the reverse. Um, but I think this is only on like the first or first or first two releases of the collaboration with Mark Jacobs. They had a few. Um, after that I think they just shortened it to Mark Jacobs. Or maybe just Vans. I can't remember. Um, anyway. <laughs> But yeah, so I really like this uh, little flag there. It's kind of long, something you don't usually see. So yeah, that's uh, my favorite pair of shoes. Um, oh yeah, let's let's talk about the box, right? You can't forget the box. So the box here is, um, this is actually a box for a different pair of Marc Jacobs slip-ons that I have. Um, I took those out, gave them the boot, and put these in there because I like these better. Um, but these didn't come with the box, but I think the box that would have come with those would, would have been exactly like this one. Just would have said uh, test print on here. 
Um, so we've got Mark Jacobs on the top, uh, Mark in black, and then Jacobs, if you can see, in like an off-white color on top of the skateboard. And we got those falling skateboards on the sides here. And we've got the, the falling skateboard prints on the tissue paper that they included. Pretty cool. Um, for a cardboard box, uh, it's definitely one of my favorites. Alright, let's get into okay, my uh, second pick. Um, and these guys. Also a part of the Vans Volt line. Um, these are the Velocita, and um, I guess I wouldn't say it's a collaboration with uh, Takahashi, but uh, because he's kind of like an in-house uh, Vans designer, but uh, it is a Takahashi shoe model. Uh, for those of you guys that aren't aware, Takahashi is a Vans designer. He works with Vans Volt, and he, um, I guess, started off designing prints for the for some of the shoes, some of his older shoes like the Skate Monkeys. Um, and then they kind of let him do his own thing, and he came up with some cool shoe. He's he's come up with some pretty awesome shoe models. Uh, my favorite though of them all being this Velocita. And he's, he always has these kind of like Native American-y, Southwestern type inspirations going on through his shoe. Um, but yeah, so I really, I really dig this shoe because, um, one, the color. I think the color is really rad. Um, it's kind of like a, it, the colorway on the box is blue, but uh, it's more of a turquoise color, more of a teal, if you ask me. Um, and it's... These actually are the ones that I've worn the most out of the three that I've picked. Um, and it's kind of fading, and it's kind of getting this really cool effect. You can see on the tongue here. It gets lighter in some areas. So I really I really dig the colorway on these. Probably more so than any other solid colored shoe that I have. Um, and two, I just I like the design of this shoe. It's uh, definitely not a classic... Um, Vans shoe model, but there's some hints there, you know, some little touches that definitely scream Vans, if you ask me. Um, it kind of looks, to me, like a modified old school. Uh, you've got that toe box, the quarter, and then the heel counter, just a little different. And of course, probably the most iconic part of the shoe is this stitch that goes along the quarter here. That pretty much gives the uh, outline of a, of a jazz stripe or a side stripe. Um, it's not an actual stripe, you know, but it is the line and the wave is there, so it definitely screams uh, Vans to me. So let's let's do let's get into this shoe because there's a lot of detail in this shoe. Um, I really love the amount of detail actually that they put into this shoe, especially because a lot of the details in this shoe are details that no one is going to see unless, you know, you take your shoe off and show them. Um, and I kind of, I really dig those types of little details where it's pretty much, it's all about you and you getting to see it and you getting to enjoy the product as opposed to trying to show off. <clears throat> um, so yeah, let's get started. So it's, um, it's all leather. Uh, it's really good quality leather. My hands are all sweaty, getting all wet. Um, <laughs> It's a really, it's a really nice quality leather. It's kind of got a bit of a texture to it. Um, it's not super, super smooth, but it's not, you know, suede or nubuck or anything like that. Um, so I dig it. It's pretty, pretty thick. Um, as you can see, I've worn these probably like, maybe like six or so times, and uh, you can barely tell really. And the whole upper is constructed in that same colored leather. Um, like I said, you've got that stitch that looks like a side stripe on the quarter there. We got this heel counter uh, that is uh, stitched horizontally across. Um, the lining of the shoe is another thing I love. Uh, it's this turmeric colored leather. Um, it's just it just works so well with this blue color. 
And of course, like like I said, you know, when you're wearing them, no one's going to see that. But you know, I think it just it really goes well with that color. The midsole is like an off-white, um, cream-colored, bone-colored midsole. We've got no foxing stripe, and of course, that straight-cut bumper. And on the back, we have. I want to say this is in the introduction of this heel tab here, uh, the Takahashi heel tab with uh, his little feathers cross logo. I'm not 100% sure on it though, but definitely one of the first shoes to sport this. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, the, ins the inside here, like I said, the lining is all leather. Um, and we've got this Volt little flag here. Uh, something the early Volts used to do is they used to include like a tag on the inside that said Volt and then had the season and year that it was released. So this one, Fall 09. So this came out in 2009 for the fall season. Uh, the insole bears that uh, Takahashi symbol on that side and on this side we've got a van stamped in there. So we've got two different insoles. And this is definitely uh, when they started doing, they already had removable insoles, so it is a removable insole. Um, and it's got just leather on the heel and then the same color as the leather canvas on the rest of the footbed. Thick. You can see the leather bleeding on these guys. Um, and, of course, and you've got this... Um, tongue here that's cut in this little triangle pattern that I think the new um, <clears throat> excuse me, new eras that just came out the Waracha pack um, have something similar to this um, going, going with the going along with the features that uh, people can't really see, uh, we've got this little thing on the back here, these shoes which if you look at it it kind of looks like the mustache that you would find on maybe the Aero 46. Um, and it's got the same shape, um, but of course, if you look at it from the side, you can see it pops out a little bit because it bends over from the inside of the shoe. Um, but you can unbend it or unflip it, and you've got these crazy colors going on through here um, in leather, which is crazy amounts of detail. I mean, if you look at it, if you look at it closely, the stitching that goes through each color is matched with the color of the leather that it goes over um, and it's just a cool little touch that no one's ever gonna really see because you can't wear them like this if you do uh, when you take a step it'll just pop back eventually just folding over and I really have no clue what this I don't think this really serves any other purpose other than just being aesthetic uh, some people have said that it's for bike riding and it's like 3M but uh, it's not I checked <laughs> so that's cool and then we've also got on the tongue these uh, little Velcro straps that, uh, to my knowledge, do absolutely nothing. Um, I guess you can use them to hold your laces in place. I'm not sure. Uh, but on this side we've got Vans, and then here we've got that Takahashi logo. And there's even some detailing going on underneath the strap here off the wall on the in the velcro there and then we've got um, TH right there for Takahayashi in his stylized font so like I said these details no one's ever gonna see um, just you I really love that about this shoe and we've also got these little loops that are on the tongue I've seen people lace their shoes um, lace these shoes with the lace laces crossing in between the loops and then some people like me where the laces go through the loops um, they look good either way I just thought I'd put them in the loops I'm not sure if you're supposed to or not but I like the way it looks and it keeps your tongue from falling in and then one last thing I forgot to mention the outsole on these guys is this uh, the flat outsole that uh, some of the bands use um, I think one of the, or the first type of outsole that uh, Vans ever used on any of their shoes um, in this like brown, dark chocolate brown colorway. Let's see, it's starting to come apart there. See, I do wear these shoes. See, I do wear my shoes. Um, <laughs> these came also in a black colorway. 
which I have as well. Um, I just, those I haven't worn, those are dead stock. Um, and these shoes, I think when they came out, the price is on the box, um, but I think they were 150, 120, um, something around that. And that was pretty crazy for back then, I think. Um, there weren't really a lot of vans that were that price. But nowadays, um, a lot of the, the Takayashi shoes are about that price, so it's not that unheard of. Anyway, uh, they came in this drawer box. It's navy colored with a Takayashi symbol on there. I really think, I want to say that these are the first official Takahayashi shoe model. Because I remember this drawer box and thinking it was really cool. And thinking I hadn't seen anything like it before. Anyway, um, as, I, as I said, the Velocita LX is the name of the shoe. Uh, it's in blue. A little picture of it. And they came in this box that's lined. I love it when they line the uh, drawer boxes. With uh, fabric that's the same color as the lining of or the inside of the shoe. Uh, they came with extra laces. They have rope waxed black rope laces. The ones that are in there I forgot to mention are leather. Um, and this little vault hang tag. Oh and they came with uh, a dust bag. Just canvas with the leather T Hayashi logo patch on there. All right, guys, let's get into my third and last pick. Um, I struggled with my third pick because I didn't know, you know, what to choose. But I really, I thought I'd go with something, you know, practical-ish. Um, and I really wanted a black and white uh, pair of skate highs because that's something that I, I pretty much can throw on whenever and I wear a lot of. But I wanted like the coolest black and white skate head that I have. And it was between these guys and the VLT um, LX uh, black and white skate highs that I have. And these guys ultimately edged out the, the victory. Um, I'm sure you've seen my video of the gray DM pair that I have. And these here are the black uh, Montebluna High LX. A uh, collaboration between Vans Vault and DM. Again, all leather construction. Handcrafted in Italy, um, and it just—I mean, there's really not much to say about these. They're just badass. Um, if you see my video for the gray ones, it's the exact same thing, just uh, different colorway. So we got that great, super buttery leather um, that side stripe, that kind of slimmed down skate high silhouette with these cream laces DM tongue label the uh, Volt made in Italy heel tab here on this cup sole that is sewn in we got this blue wavy outsole that DM uses in all their shoes and these I actually have not worn yet um, these and the red ones are the two DMs I haven't worn. But uh, I just haven't had really any reason to. I have a lot of black and white skate highs that I wear. And I haven't pulled these out. Um, but yeah. So those are my top three guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I know it's kind of a long video. Um, I hope I didn't bore you too much. You're not asleep at your computer right now. <laughs> But uh, if you want to check out uh, any more of my um, collection, uh, please hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you liked this video and you thought it was interesting, please hit the like button. And uh, go check out OT Dub's channel. He's a cool dude, if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. See you next time.